Hey Terrosphere, it's Holly from Cape Cod Creatures, and I am here with day nine of Ethany's 31 Days of Tarot Challenge. How excited are we? We're almost a third of the way there. So today's prompt is tarot goals for 2018, and I have a handful. So the first goal doesn't seem tarot related, but it really is because it'll give me way more time in my life to actually do tarot is sell the dog store. I'm actually going to call the broker today and lower the price. Um, it, it's time. I just, I need this. I need the time of my life for something else. I love my shop. Don't get me wrong, but it's time to move on to something else, something new, something fresh. I'm definitely a big project person. And you know, I've, the, the, I've realized the store, I've worked it for a while. I've grown it significantly, but it's time for somebody else to really love it and take it to the next step. So that will give me more time to learn reversals, which is goal number two. Um, I don't read reversals currently unless they show up. I'm the kind of person who goes out of my way to turn my deck so they're all facing the same way. And um, if a card shows up in like reversed, I didn't put it that way. I don't know how it got that way. I don't know. It's creepy. Uh, but that's usually, I take that as a, um, you know, I, I'll read it intuitively. Like either this is super important or something's wonky here. But um, I don't know. I, I'm a big fan of being a well-rounded reader. So I don't know the book meanings for reversals. And I don't, I'm not comfortable with the fact that I don't know those meanings or how to really look at it. So I'm going to spend some time this year studying that. Um, and then once I have a really good handle on that, I am going to take tarot reading professionally, I think. Um, I, I really, I haven't really decided how I'm going to go about it or when I'm going to go about it. Um, but I really love reading tarot. I love it. I love, 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 love it. And I would like to do professionally. So that is going to be something that I work for, towards in 2018. I mean, let's face it. I work, I've worked for myself for almost six years now. I can't have a boss again. I'm going to be the worst employee ever. I am an employer's worst nightmare because I just don't take direction very well. I'm so used to being in charge of myself and doing what I want when I want. It's just no gusta. So I think I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to learn to read tarot professionally. Oh no, that was so terrible. And then as an unrelated to tarot goal, but is one of my goals for 2018, um, I am going to be taking my, um, you know, witchy woo studies a little more seriously. So I did an interview with Arwen at the beginning of the year. It was like, in, if they want to say it was in May. Um, and she was like, so when did you become a witch? When did you get on the pagan path? And I was just like, well, I haven't. And that kind of got me thinking. Um, you know, I've always jokingly called myself a, a, a spiritual atheist, which is somebody who sees the energy in the universe, but doesn't necessarily have a deity. And I don't think that that's necessarily changed. But when I was younger, I was really into like Eye of Newt and Tongue of Bat and Double Double Toil and Trouble and all that good stuff. But in a less facetious way. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tongue in cheeking it here, but I have decided that I'm going to take, um, you know, like learning witchcraft a little more seriously. And I, I hate to call it witchcraft because it doesn't connote like the seriousness or I'm going to say energy work. Let's put it that way. So I bought myself this 2D little planner and I bought myself this 2D little book already full of 2D little bookmarks. And I got myself this 2D little book also starting to be full of 2D little bookmarks. And I am just going to, um, you know, just take that kind of stuff a little more seriously. I want to learn all I can learn about all the different paths. I definitely see myself in a more solitary practice. Um, but I don't know. I just, I think it's really interesting. I've always found it fascinating. Um, you know, I, I was really into it as a teenager. Um, totally sitting in my bedroom in the dark reading, um, you know, to ride a silver broomstick over some really cheap incense that I got from Solitudes at the mall. Don't judge me. That was a store back when I was young. So that, so those who know who's, what Solitudes is, they now know how old I am and it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just start taking it a little more seriously. So I want to say big thank you to Miss Arwen for 
really kind of giving me a little boot in the butt. I feel like that was a very serendipitous, um, synchronous meeting um, to have happened um, in 2017. So I'm very thankful for that. But those are my big, big goals for 2018 and um, the majority of them tarot related. So huzzah. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow for <clears throat> decks that I want to work more with in 2018. And uh, for those of us sticking to the challenge, congratulations, you guys. This is really hard to do. <laughs> it's, it's harder than I thought it was going to be, but it'll be super rewarding when we're done. And to those who maybe have jumped off a little bit, never too late to get back on the horse. Like, come on, we love watching your videos and let's go. Let's do it. Let's bust out this 31 days. Thank you, Terrosphere, and I will see you tomorrow.